Hey everyone, so in this video we're going to take a look at how you can create your very own Memoji laptop sticker just like this one here. So let's get into today's video and see what you can create as a result. Okay, so let's look at an updated approach of how to make your Memoji laptop sticker. Now I first put this together back in March and it was only meant to be a little bit of fun as I was responding to the WWDC uh, pictures that were being put together. So I chose to just use messages for this. Now it's kind of taken off over the last few months. Lots of people are playing around with this. And actually for me, it's become something that I've considered using as a back to school activity where students would be able to share their thoughts and opinions about things that they like on the stickers that they use on their laptops. But we know not all children have access to messages on their school-based devices. So this is a different approach to creating your Memoji in the first place without the need to use the Messages app at all. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into the Notes app. Um, I've just created a blank note and I've got my keyboard up and I'm going to go to the Emoji icon in the bottom left. When I click on this, you'll see that my frequently used ones are here, which is great if you've already got a Memoji created. Um, but let's go through the process of creating that Memoji in the first place. So I'm going to tap on the three dots, and you'll see that I come up with my Memoji stickers, where I have the three dots again, and the option to create a new Memoji. So I'm going to go ahead and choose this, and you can see you have access to creating your Memoji in a really, really simple way, having all the same fun that you would have if you're doing this in messages, it's exactly the same, but I don't need to go into messages in order to do it. So you can go through all of those options and create your own Memoji. When you're done with that, you'll have your Memoji created. So, uh, you know, as many of these as you want to create. And as you scroll down, you'll see that you have access to that laptop Memoji. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this one and I'm gonna enter it as if it's text. So here we go, it's now appeared in my note as text. At that point, I can simply tap on the note itself and then go to share, and then I can save that image and that's gonna to save to my camera roll. Now, the other way you can do it is to tap and hold and drag, and then you can just go and open a keynote presentation. So I'm just gonna choose a blank one here. And what that will allow me to do is just drop this image. I've still got holder in my hand and drop it here. So a couple of ways to add it in. I'll show you the other way as well, depending on your workflow or your dexterity, I guess, with your finger. It's also saved in my camera roll. So if I go to my photos, there's the same image again that you can just grab. So that's how we can really, really easily create our Memoji, store them in notes, and then save them to our camera roll. One other quick tip I would suggest is that when you're creating your Memoji, you'll end up with lots just in your album. One tip is to create a Memoji sticker album, and then you can just add all of your Memojis into one place. It's an easier way to grab them later because it's fun doing this with, with a laptop, but you can equally do this. Um, I've seen Kurt Kleinen do this with the Memoji holding something in his hand. Uh, lots and lots of different ways that you can do this. So, you know, play around with the different ways, but just have an album where all of your Memoji stickers can be stored in one place for easy access. So the next step then, if I just delete one of these, is to go through the process of creating your stickers to add in here. Now I'll go through the simple process. I'm just gonna tap plus. I'm gonna go to the shapes library and I'm just gonna choose um, a simple object. Let's just say I'm gonna choose this T-shirt. Could be that I really like T-shirts. Um, I'm just going to use just some of the sort of editing features to just arrange that. I'm going to change the colour, so make this blue I think. And then what I'm going to do is use some of these to turn it into more of a sticker type feel. So if I turn on the border, change that colour to white, and make that just a little bit thicker, you'll see that it kind of starts to have that edge that, that lots of stickers that you can purchase um, will have. But I'm also gonna add a little bit of shadow to this so that it doesn't look like it's just, you know, flat directly onto the, the, the picture, onto the laptop. Now, obviously stickers are stuck onto laptops, but sometimes they're slightly embossed, you get that little bit of a feeling of depth to them. So there we go, that's the process. 
what you can then do is add more and more and more stickers depending on what you're into, what your likes are, what your interests are. Um, at this point, I would strongly urge you to download uh, Martin Coote's uh, Shapes library that he's just shared out. Um, you can see that in the uh, description um, of this video. Really, really useful resource to, to get hold of just as a starting point for some stickers. Alternatively, you can you can kind of go on the internet and find some pictures for yourself. So um, here's one I created earlier with lots of different stickers. Some of these are borrowed from Martin Coots, the Michael Jordan one, um, and the tweet icon. Some are from another ADE great designer, Jacob uh, Hansen, who also shared kind of a library of, of pictures. And some are things that I've just found on the internet or made myself. Um, and the same process occurs. This is just a sticker that I've, uh, or a picture that I've taken off of the internet. Um, I've put that white effect around the outside to make it look more like a sticker. Um, and then just added that to my, my uh, laptop. Also, if you go to Apple Teacher, um, if you're an Apple teacher, you can go in here. There's a great activity in there which talks about creating your Memoji laptop sticker. And you can also download your Apple Teacher sticker to go on your laptop as well. So there we go. There's the process. That's how you create. Um, the, the process of adding the stickers is a lot of fun. It's They're just images that you just crop um, make the right size that you want on your laptop. And then the same as you would with your actual laptop, play around with your style. The best bit about this, I suppose, is that if you don't want that sticker in that place, you can take it away with no sticky residue left on your laptop. So there we go, how to make your own laptop sticker, Mimoji.